Heavy is all relative. What I mean by this is, all right, I have two friends. One of them is a, uh, a very famous bench presser. I'm not going to get into names, okay, because I'm not here to throw names out, okay? One's name is and the other's name is on the police Olympics. He benched like 600 pounds. I was once with the New York Jets, Oklahoma Outlaws, you know, when, when they had that American Football League. Both of them are childhood friends of mine. Okay, now, Tommy could take his own body weight and bench it like 40 times. He was like, uh, like 230. And he could bench press, four, uh, you know, bench press 230, 230, 40 times. And you say, ah, what's the that's a lot of weight. Just try doing that. T take 230 pounds and let me see you bench it clean 40 times. Ronnie, on the other hand, he weighed 265 pounds and he could bench 600. Okay? That was his max. He could take 265 maybe and do it like 10 times or, or 12 times or 14, 15 times. Tommy's max was only like maybe about 430. But he could take his own. So who's stronger? Ha! Ah, who's stronger? If you want to go for the one rep, the explosive muscle, you got Ronnie stronger because he can take 600 pounds and explode that out, okay, for one good solid rep. Tommy can only explode maybe 435 or something like that for one solid rep. But you know what? You put that 315 on the bar, and here's Ronnie over there struggling to get 10, and Tommy's over there doing it. Okay, that's 20. Who's stronger? Because one has... One has explosive fiber, the other has a slower, more endurance fiber, can handle weight for a longer period of time. Who's stronger? You can't go by strength. Strength is relative. It depends on the person. Each person's different. Their strength levels and everything, and all this plays a factor. into Like guys tell me, well, Ronnie Coleman, you know, I've seen him take like T-bar rows and take like 450 pounds and... T-bar row that, yeah, but he does it 10 times. So for him, it's not heavy. For you, it might be heavy. 400 pounds is really, you may not be able to T-bar row 400 pounds once. But for, for Ronnie, it's a moderate weight. For you, it's heavy. So when you use the word heavy, it's all relative. Does Ronnie Coleman train heavy? He trains heavy for you and I, but for him, he uses weights he can handle. Follow me, he uses weights he can handle. So therefore, he's not necessarily training heavy. For you, that would be heavy. For him, he uses weights he can handle. Tom Platt, same thing. I mean, uh, he would take 315 and squat it 50 times. You can't go by numbers, and numbers are throw numbers out the window.